Hello drone community, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School and welcome to our new series, the Drone Weekly News Roundup. It's quite simple, each week we go through the top stories in the drone industry. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay notified when new videos are released. So this week we have four stories. Uh, number one, Walmart invests in DroneUp. Uh, number two, speaking of Walmart, we may have seen a leaked image uh, of a new DJI Mini SE drone uh, out of Walmart. Story number three, Israel-based Aerobotics makes the first drone that can fly, recharge, and swap payloads autonomously. And story number four, Save Bambi using drones to, you guessed it, save the lives of deer and other wildlife. So let's jump in. Walmart announced a strategic partnership with a company called DroneUp to offer commercial drone delivery to its customers. Now the details of this partnership have not been made public, so we don't know how much money Walmart invested, and we don't know what kind of timelines or expectations the company has when it comes to rolling this drone delivery plan out. But the important thing to know here is that last year, Walmart worked with DroneUp in a trial to deliver at-home COVID-19 self-collection kits. According to a statement from Walmart CEO, John Ferner, the trial demonstrated we could offer customers delivery in minutes versus hours. Interesting. Now, Walmart is no stranger to the drone industry. Back in 2019, they filed 97 drone-related patents over the course of that single year, almost double the amount that Amazon had filed for in the same amount of time. So we have companies like Walmart and Amazon, uh, UPS, DHL, all investing in drone delivery, this concept of last mile delivery. And Walmart's new partnership with DroneUp is interesting, so we'll be keeping our eyes and ears peeled. Story number two. Rumors are bouncing around the internet about a new DJI drone. Well, I should clarify, not a new drone model, but a new version of an existing drone model, the DJI Mavic Mini. So it looks like Walmart has a product page for something called the Mavic Mini SE, selling for $299, which is $100 less than the original Mavic Mini. And the rumor is that this drone will be offered starting in mid-July, so in a couple of weeks. Given that this drone is basically a repackaged version of a drone DJI already sells, we're not expecting a big launch event, uh, but we'll start to likely see stocking of, of the Mavic Mini SE at Walmart and Best Buy and in other retailers at some point in mid-July. So if you're in the market for an inexpensive drone, kind of a great starter uh, prosumer drone and you missed out on the Prime Day deals, it might be worth waiting a few weeks for the Mavic Mini SE. Story number three, Aerobotics, a drone company out of Tel Aviv, Israel, has unveiled a drone called the Optimus that can fly, recharge, and change payloads autonomously, so without the need for human intervention. Companies can pre-program tasks like surveying and mapping and perimeter observation without the need for a pilot to be on site uh, for flying or charging or swapping out any of the payloads. Now, I'm fascinated by Aerobotics. They've already received $28.5 million in Series A and Series B financing, and they plan to have 25 of these Optimus drone systems in commercial use by the end of 2021. And interestingly enough, Aerobotics has more than two dozen competitors in Israel alone, so we will likely be seeing a ton of development in this area over the coming months. And our last story, Save Bambi, a nonprofit out of Belgium. Uh, what they're doing is really cool. So when you have large agricultural equipment that's being used to cut hay or to clear an area, quite often there are little fawns hiding in the tall grass, and those fawns don't often get out of the way in enough time. Uh, Save Bambi uses a network of drone pilot volunteers and thermal cameras uh, to detect young deer huddled in the grass. They're also looking for uh, nests or, or any brooding birds. And getting this visual, this information ahead of a project can help humans to more effectively remove and protect those creatures. So hashtag drones for good. I love hearing stories like this. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. We'll also be adding links below to each article so you can read more. Thanks for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying. See you next week.